see <coughs> yesterday we discussed parameterization in that chapter first we discussed data table first usage enter test data directly into data table and connect it to the test second usage import test data from external files and connect to the test okay see here we can use either text files or excel files see first text file i am creating suppose data see if you want to use <coughs> text file as resource resource means test data file is resource it is providing data to uh, data to the test if you want to use text file notepad like text file means flat file as resource two syntax rules first syntax rule data table considers data table considers test text file first line as column headers next between in between two columns tab space is the delimiter tab space is the delimiter tab space uh, now tell me uh, anu what are the two syntax rules if you want to use uh, text file as uh, uh, text file as uh, resource your qtp considers uh, the first line as the header column headers and uh, co column headers and uh, you need to give tab space between two co two lines two lines okay now two lines not two lines sir can you sir can you repeat that sir is getting some breaking the your voice see problem from your side sajan remaining people getting clearly we are not re getting your voice and you also not getting our voice try to everything is fine some sometimes uh, sometimes only the problem sir okay okay see <coughs> if you want to use text file as resource two syntax rules first syntax rule is data table considers text file as uh, data table considers first line as column headers next in between two columns means two fields tab space is the delimiter got the point sajan tell me two syntax rules uh, the data table consider a first column first column what is first column eh? here no column concept data table considers text file first line first line as column headers okay okay hmm. next another syntax rule only two things huh? yeah. you are not understanding properly continue sunita to give tab space between two lines not two lines not two lines two, two fields two fields okay. two fields see agent password see this is first line this is first line data table considers first line as column headers data table considers first line as column headers next data tab space we are using tab space tab space is the delimiter forget about alignment tab space is the delimiter forget about alignment tab space is the delimiter uh 
one minute. Anshu, giant call option is there now in Skype. Why you are uh, not joining? Anshu. I didn't. I didn't see it. No. Manjula, Manjula found that one. Manjula, how you joined? Manjula, how you joined? Hello. Yeah, uh, I saw join. join I, jo I see the join call option and I click on it. Sir. Ah yes, join call option is there. Using join call option, you can join at any point of time. I see. Okay. I see. Okay. Okay. Put mute. See, this is resource file. Test data file. Next. Excel file. <coughs> See, if it is Excel file, only one syntax rule. Anyhow, Excel has format, rows and columns, tabular format. So, only one syntax rule. That syntax rule is data table considers. Excel file first row as column headers. See if you want to use notepad like text file as resource two syntax rules if you want to use excel file as test data file or resource only one syntax rule uh, now you tell me anu if it is text file what are the two syntax rules if it is excel what is the syntax rule one syntax rule uh, if it is the text file data table considers first line as the column header uh. and uh, second syntax rule is we should give tab space between two fields as a delimiter okay in case of Excel file, uh, uh, data table considers first row as the column header. Yes, first row as column headers, enough. No delimiter required. Here, format is there. Format is there. Uh, Excel format is tabular format, rows and columns. Okay, now generate the basic test. One minute. Stop. One minute. Record this close uh, statement also. <coughs> run the script. Just dry run. Okay, it is executing fine. Next, launch data table. <coughs> launch data table. View menu, data table. Next, import test data. Place mouse pointer on data table anywhere. File and right. Uh, see once once again. Place mouse pointer on data table and right click. File. Import from file. See column headings imported should match the parameter names in the test. Okay. See desktop. First a flat file. See data. Imported. Next connecting test data to the test. You know how to connect test data to the test. You know how to connect. 
Ah, how to connect? Tell me. Tell me Anshu using export view. Anshu. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, data table. Data table. Uh, open parenthesis. Double quotes. Hmm. Agent. Closed up, comma, hmm. one. Okay, good. Close. Otherwise, you can, instead of column name, you can use column ID also. See, second column, password, two. If you want to observe the test data, insert wait statement. This is only, uh, op this is optional. If you want to observe the data, you can use. One minute. Test one. First it is taking test one. Test of four. Next last set test of five. Over. Over. One minute. Okay. Next using <coughs> Data driver wizard also we can connect. Suppose fixed values as it is, constant values, <coughs> mercury. See now test is ready, test data also ready. Connect test data to the test using data driver wizard. Uh, go to tools menu, data driver. See here first select first value. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D for agent. Parameterize. Parameter all. Parameterize all. See here. Parameter options. Select column name. Agent. Sheet already default selected. Global. Global only. OK. Finish. Next. Sec select second value. Parameterize. Next. Parameter options. Select column, password, sheet global, already selected, OK, finish, OK, see, same generated, column, name, sheet name, column, name, sheet name, see, DT global sheet, uh, no, double, uh, no double quotes, why, this is reserved word, QTP reserved word, you can directly use. But agent password not reserved words. Next, instead of this one, you can connect test data using keyword view. Uh, you tell me, uh, Manjula, how to connect test data using keyword view? Manjula, can you hear me? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not connected to WebEx. Uh, I can't. Okay. What is the problem? Yes, I can hear you, sir. Okay. Uh, you tell me, Anshu, how to connect test test data to the test using keyword view? Uh, yeah. Can we go to the keyword view? Uh, switch uh, to keyword view. Uh. Select the... Uh, uh, value option, mm. uh, yeah, uh, configure oh. value, parameters, select the uh, name, agent, okay, and for the second one, same thing, parameters, 
password it already selected global switch to expert to same generator okay na next same passion importing test data from excel files same so taking the new test one minute one minute is hanged launch data table place mouse point run data table and right click file import from file okay see here select input that is test data file data imported next remaining steps common what are the remaining steps connect uh, connect test data to the test and run the test next one more usage one more usage also there what is that usage sunita one more usage um importing uh, uh, data um, test data from database importing test data from database databases and connect to the and test. connect to the test say if it is file no formalities if it is database formalities are there see observe the steps observe the steps Oh, observe the steps using <coughs> database <coughs> as a resource first step create a database create a database this is one time activity second one create tables this is also one time activity next enter test data enter test data see these three are the preliminary steps next continuation create dsn data source name data source name say if you want to connect to any database connection string is required in between front end and back end now front end is qtp back end is database connection string is required already i told if it is file a uh, text file or excel file or word document no formalities we can import directly if it is database formalities are there we need to uh, we need to connect to the database for connecting to any database connection string required next read data or fetch data read data using sql statements read data using sql statements see these are the five steps uh, tell me sajan what are the five steps using database uh, one is that create a database create a database uh, next create a table create tables suppose yeah, yeah. for four uh, for 10 tests uh, 
uh, test data required create 10 tables uh, next enter test data enter test data next and data source name that uh, create a dsn create dsn next and uh, read data using sql statement good see first time creating this database just one question sir ah. Uh, don't we need to close the database session after uh, reading or fetching whatever data we need? I, is that not part of this? Uh, See, here we no need to close database session. Q data table is QTP ready-made environment. Internally, it closes that session. If we use VB script automation objects, then we need to close the session. That we will discuss in VB script chapter. Okay. See, same test we prepare directly without QTP ready-made environment in VB script chapter, same test we will create using flat file, using Excel file, using database. There, each and everything user need to define, pure scripting. Here, Q, here data table is ready-made environment. It, it will perform operations internally. Uh, this initial trial version doesn't support uh, MS Office 2007. Uh, no problem. You create database and save as 2003 database. Next, if you want to use uh, 2007 MS Office directly or higher versions directly, you download patches from HP site. Patches available. Create table. agent text next password text save the table suppose table name is login it is asking for foreign key uh, primary key not required next one more table see suppose in your project 30 to 40 tests require this one uh, test data create 30 to 40 tables you and your team members can use the tables see here no restrictions already I told several alternates are there for parameterization based on your company strategy you can use otherwise based on your convenience you can use some people use excel file directly some people use database directly some people use data table some people use uh, loop statements only depends on your depends on your uh, company environment you can follow all methods not required for every project see order number this is number save suppose name is orders uh, table name orders no primary key see first two steps over creating database creating tables next enter data select login table enter data Save. Close. Ah, one minute. Uh, enter data for next table also. Orders. <coughs> See, first three steps over. First three steps over. What are the three steps? Create database. Create tables enter test data next create dsn see concentrate how to create dsn 
DSN creation also one time activity. If you create DSN once, you and your team members can use the DSN. See, view menu, data table, and one more thing, default location for storing DSN. What is the default location for storing DSN? Uh, see, hard disk drive, C drive, program, next, common files, one minute, problem is, one minute, one minute, see, C program files, common files, ODBC data sources. See, this is the default location. Sometimes uh, in certification exam also they ask question, what is the default location for storing DSN? This is the default location. But no issues, no uh, uh, <coughs> restrictions, no restrictions. You can you can save DSN on desktop or C drive or D drive or E drive also, no problem. But this is the default location. Uh, now tell me, Srinivas, what is the default location for storing DSN? C drive. C drive. Uh, Program. O, one minute. One Program minute. files. One minute. Here, not only C drive, suppose if you install QTP tool in D drive, then path is D drive. Ah. Okay. Ah. C drive. Program files. Program files. Common files. Common files. ODBC. ODBC. Data source. Data source. This is the location. But no restrictions. You can store in another location also. Mm. Check. See, first launch data table. Uh, place mouse pointer on data table and right click sheet import from database sheet import from database uh, here database query wizard opened here select uh, second option specify SQL statement manually why not first option if you want to use first option create query using Microsoft query Microsoft query software required otherwise you can you can choose second option specify SQL statement manually click next next click create ah. click new here no data source available click new ah. next here select database type see here SQL Server, last one SQL Server, next Fox Pro, Oracle, etc. Our database is Microsoft Access. Select database, click next, here enter name, uh, click browse, enter name. Suppose November save click next click finish ok now DSN created DSN created but we have to uh, associate the DSN to our database now DSN is separate thing DSN is separate thing database is separate we need to associate them uh, how select here browse path of the database desktop see test db dot mtb click ok again click ok see dsn created and can and associated to our database now select the dsn click ok ok connection string generated Next, enter select statement. Select star from agent 
ah, sorry start from login table name is login finish data imported can you observe the tested data sunita can you observe the data sir yes sir ah next remaining steps common what are the remaining steps connect test data to the test and run the test remaining steps common ah one sorry minute. sir uh, i didn't get the associate dsn to uh, the database part once 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 again i will show once again i will show concentrate see i am taking the new test i am taking the new test problem is there who asked that question anshu sir what is the problem anshu what is the problem uh i just uh, didn't follow the steps for associating uh, dsn to the database okay okay anyhow i i will show once again concentrate before that uh already now uh, okay I, i will show i will show later just to, uh, concentrate see already dsn available now for another test i want to fetch that order table data another another table for another test another table data required already i told creating dsn is one time activity if you create dsn once you and your team members can use that dsn several times multiple times suppose already dsn created and associated to our database now i want to fetch order table data hmm, how see launch data table place mouse pointer on data table and right click file ah sorry sheet sheet import from database next second select option specify a sql statement manually click next click create ah uh, here dsn already there select the dsn click okay connection string generated next enter sql statement select order number from order table orders click finish data imported na anu can you observe the data yes sir okay okay once again i will show uh, once again i will show uh, creating dsn concentrate concentrate see first i will remove the dsn uh, see program files next common files next odbc data sources select and remove now no dsn in our system next create the dsn and associate to our database see you know first step launch data table view menu data table next place mouse pointer on data table anywhere and right click next sheet import from database here select second option specify sql statement manually next i have already explained why not first option create query using microsoft query tell me sajan why can't we use first option we need to buy a microsoft query for that right we no need to buy we need to download and install that microsoft okay query. download and install in the uh, microsoft otherwise, query otherwise simple thing you can select the second option specify a sql yeah. statement manually next ah uh, next click create create a string no ah uh, here click no. new new okay okay put mute all of you put mute whenever i ask question unmute click 
click new select data source database our database is microsoft mdb click next click browse ah, here enter name suppose flights save click next click finish now dsn created and stored dsn is separate thing our database is separate thing we need to associate the dsn to our database ah uh, here uh, anshu struggled ah uh, now guide me anshu guide me how to associate dsn to our database guide me guide uh, me. I, will, i will correct the navigation if you pro, if you don't follow i will correct ah select select ah uh, here where our database located desktop see documents and settings desktop select database ah uh, continue anshu ah uh, click okay 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 again again okay ah uh, now dsn associated here where is the complexity yep uh, thank you ah uh, welcome next select this dsn connection string generated fetch data suppose select order number from <coughs> select order number from orders finish see data data imported remaining steps common what are the remaining steps connect test data to the test run the test okay see next i am taking the new test for this new test a uh, login table data required i am passing control to one minute it's not control also not okay not passing ah okay one minute it's hanged i think one minute Srinivas, I am passing control to you. Uh, you fetch it. Uh, test data from login table. Login table. DSN already there. Uh, first launch data table. You know how to launch. Uh, next. Hmm. Sheet import from database. Hmm. Next, uh, select second option. Next, hmm. click create. Ah, uh, select DSN. Okay. Next, enter SQL statement. table name login table name login ah uh, click 
finish that i imported sql statements not case sensitive okay thank you okay na okay one minute okay now we discussed all three possibilities what are the three possibilities tell me anu what are the three possibilities importing the test data directly into the data table ah importing test data from text files or and importing test data from databases okay next one more one more thing also there concentrate very very important this one uh, fourth one hybrid hybrid uh, data driven testing don't confuse concentrate here we are mixing programmatic statements concentrate sajan you concentrate i am here i am here yeah uh, data driven testing using data table methods and programmatic statements programmatic statements see this is hybrid approach earlier three usages purely tool feature uh, using the uh, data table ready made environment this time we are mixing programmatic statements why why we mix programmatic statements say if you mix programmatic statements you can avoid you can overcome the limitations of ready made environment uh, what are the limitations suppose here find the limitations find the limitations file settings run here three options available for data table iterations first option run one iteration only if you select first option what will happen it will execute first record only suppose in your data table 50 records are there but it will execute only first record second option run on all rows that is the default option run on all rows means it will execute all rows in your data table next third option run from row to to row uh, you can select range of records suppose uh, we have 50 records we want to execute 25 to 35 records you, here you can set the range of records see first option one record only second option default option all records third options range of records these are the options available for data table iterations suppose my requirement is i want to open every a1 order 2 4 6 8 10 like that i want to open every odd number 1 3 5 7 like that otherwise i want to open every 10th record up to 100 10 20 30 40 50 like that is there any option supporting for my requirement sunita observe any option is supporting for my requirement no sir no option is supporting for my requirement why it is ready made environment we have to use as it is uh, here if you mix programmatic statements you can avoid you can you can overcome uh, limitations of uh, ready made environment now tell me anu why we mix programmatic statements to avoid limitations okay to avoid limitations of ready made environments say concentrate <coughs> first see here data available input sheet is there in this input sheet five sets of uh, test data available next generate the basic test generate the basic test
click OK. Stop. Uh, close. Stop recording. Next, uh, run it once to make sure whether the script is executing without errors or not. See, it is executing five times. Why? See, drawback of data table. See, five rows are there now. If you enter uh, co constant values also, with the same data, it will execute five times. Take new test. Here, create. Stop. Now run the script once. Okay, executing fine. See now test is ready. Test data. Test data also ready. Test is ready. Test data also ready. Fetch test data and connect to the test. This time using programmatic statements. <coughs> first, first step. Create, create new sheet. In runtime data table runtime data table to import test data from external file to import test data <coughs> See, data table dot yard sheet, sheet name, example, login. See, in runtime data table, runtime data table, nothing but carbon copy of design time data table, already we discussed uh, data table available in two areas. One area, first area is in QTP tool main window. Second area, QTP tool result window. Here name is design time data table. Their name is runtime data table. Runtime data table, nothing but carbon copy of design time data table. Here we can communicate. We can communicate directly with runtime data table. Uh, okay. See, in runtime data table also two sheets available. Carbon copy of design time data table na. In runtime data table also two sheets available. What are the two sheets ano? Uh, global sheet and uh, action. The action one sheets. Two default yeah. sheets available in <coughs> runtime data table. Instead of using those uh, sheets, why we are creating new sheets? See, global sheet, action sheets, system defined sheets. QTP defined sheets controlled by QTP tool only. If you want to, if you want to control the test data, you define your own sheets, user defined sheets. Got the point, Manjula? 
why we are creating new sheets new sheet instead of using existing sheets in runtime data table Uh, can you explain one more time, sir? What is the problem, uh, Manjula? You are not responding quickly. Huh? What is the problem, yeah, my, uh, problem with the internet connection? Not okay. Hello? Okay. Problem with connection? Yeah. Your voice also not reaching properly. You, you tell me, Anu. Uh, Did you understand my question, Anu? Yes, sir. If you want to control the text data, ah. we have to create our own sheets. Ah. See, see, once again, uh, follow Manjula. In runtime data table, we have two sheets already. What are the two sheets? What are the two sheets? Tell me, Manjula. What are the two sheets? Global and local. Global and action one. Okay. Instead of using those sheets, why we are creating new sheet? That is my question. Okay. Answer is that two sheets, system defined sheets means controlled by QTP tool only. If you want to control the test data, you need to create your own sheet, user defined sheet. Got the point, Sajan? Yeah. Next, import, import test data, from an external file, external file, data table, dot import sheet import sheet ah uh, here source path source file path this file name is input dot xls backslash input dot xls comma one comma three <coughs> what is this one comma three one is source file first sheet three is destination file third sheet say in source file data available in first sheet in source file data available in first sheet next destination data uh, exporting to third third sheet of runtime data table first sheet global second sheet action one third sheet our user defined sheet login login did you understand this syntax sunita understand the syntax yeah, yes sir see data table dot import sheet uh, this one path of the source file comma one comma three what is one what is three sergeant what is one what is three sergeant see one is the go, go to the uh, the file uh, what is one source one is file the first sheet login source file first sheet okay okay source, source file, file first, first sheet. sheet data where data available in this external file input file first sheet na okay next uh, third three three means exporting to destination file third sheet Okay, sir. Third. Third means in runtime ta data table, our login sheet position is third. Why? First global, second action one, third this one. 
run the script just perform dry run over open result window see here can you observe the data manjula can you observe the data Anu, can you observe the data? Yes, sir. Important, na? Yes. Uh, next, take the row count <coughs> variable. Sir, if we give number 2, then it will be imported to the action sheet of the source file? Uh, not source file, destination file. Okay. 1 comma 2 means second sheet in runtime data table. Source 1 only, na? Okay, sir. Rows underscore count. This is just a variable equal to data table dot get sheet of say in data table now we have three sheets global sheet action one sheet and login sheet now we want login sheet row count so here you can enter within double quotes login Otherwise, sheet ID. What is the sheet ID of login in runtime data table, Sunita? Sheet ID. What is the sheet ID of login? One, three. Three. Three, three. okay. First global, second yeah, action, first, one, Yeah, second is action, third one is login. Login. Okay. See, instead of login, you can enter three. Dot get row count next you can display that one msg box row count how many rows available in that file anu uh, how many rows available uh, forget five, first, rows. First, five rows five rows five rows only forget first row already we discussed uh, data table considers Excel file first row as column headers. Remaining five rows only. Five rows. Run the script. How many rows it is displaying and show? Five. 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 Uh, next, form the loop structure, loop statement. for see for I equal to one to five, uh, one to rows count. Next, I want to open only odd numbers. Uh, then, what is the syntax? Only odd numbers. One, three, five. Next, data table dot 
set current row here which uh, set current row tell me and show here which one is indicating rows i i good i is indicating rows next you know how to connect test data to the test now tell me tell me sinvas how to connect test data to the test sinvas uh, uh. can we use like a keyword view or expert, expert view okay yeah i forgot the syntax is the data ah uh, uh, tell me try to use expert view expert view is programmatic view keyword view all are ready made views not flexible sometimes only user friendly but this is expert view plain land you can do anything continue sunita uh, sunita continue anshu continue uh, data table data table uh open a bracket uh, double quotes that uh, that uh, uh, term is data table of of means open data table one minute data table of uh uh, uh one comma one comma three good three third sheet in runtime data table next data table Day of a uh, 2,3 good 2,3 if you want to observe the test execution process insert wait statement is purely optional one minute first time plain execution then it will execute it will open three orders only not five orders as per our logic 1 3 5 observe run the script first test 1 test 3 test 5 1 3 5 only 1 3 5 only over over see this time we used only positive means uh, only valid inputs valid inputs but this is not the purpose of data driven testing data driven primary purpose is positive and negative testing uh, so we need to use some invalid inputs concentrate next I am going to insert verification points and retaining the result concentrate concentrate sergeant I am here I am here see result result column test result next see first to first record valid second record invalid in this application agent name must be a four digit value second record invalid agent name third record invalid password fourth record blank agent fifth record again valid see first and last record valid middle three records invalid mm, concentrate concentrate <coughs> here I am going to insert uh, this one verification points verification point how to confirm login operation see after entering positive uh, after entering valid input it will uh, launch flight reservation application 
by checking the existence of flight reservation application, you can confirm login operation. Got the point, Srinivas? How to confirm login operation? Here, what is the verification point? Srinivas, respond. No, I was talking on mute. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Once you see the flight reservation screen, then you are confirmed that it's a valid user ID and password. Oh, login successful. See, I'm going to insert a conditional statement within loop condition where uh, here. If window of flight reservation dot exist property exist of 12 say some time required for launching that one here enter some time uh, pass it time it won't wait maximum time fail it time only it waits fail it time only it will wait pass it time it takes required time only after checking the existence close the flight reservation window in order to in order to perform next iteration next return the result see in computer programming returning result is right to left right to left x equal to 100 x is variable left side 100 is value right side value assignment right to left not left to right here this time we are going to write the result into that that table then which one is left that table is left or right tell me anu we are going to write the result to data table third column data table is left or right left sir left good data table of 3 comma 3 third column third sheet equal to <coughs> any meaningful message login successful else login failed login failed uh, failed time error handling required failed time failed time error handling required in order to perform next iteration see See, I have entered uh, invalid uh, agent name. After clicking OK, it is showing error pop up. In order to perform next iteration, I need to clear these windows. Hmm. How to clear? Uh, to do this, we have three possibilities. One is you can use system util, uh, uh, utility object. Another is recovery scenario. One more thing is programmatic way. Check the existence of error window. Check the existence of error window and click on default button. Clear login dialog. See, first I will explain simple thing, system util. In future we will discuss programmatic way as well as recovery scenario. See, system util dot Close descendant process. What is the functionality of this statement? It closes all windows that opened by quick test during execution. It closes all windows that opened by quick test during execution. One minute. Here, uh, wait statement also not required. If you want to uh, see, it will export that result to result window only. If you want external file, 
data table dot export sheet next external result file path result 1 dot xls result 1 dot xls available on desktop sajan can you view that file result 1 dot xls result 1 result 1 dot excel excel file result 1 can you view that file uh, no 